<clears throat> the Echo Temp L5 tankless portable water heater. Project I just finished. I'll still end up modifying a few things. Been having a little bit of trouble with the first initial startup with it not wanting to stay lit when I go to adjust the water inlet and outlet. The minimum maximum controls the number of gallons going through it per minute. The less number of gallons you have going through per minute, the higher the temperature. So let's see if it'll kick back on. Fired right up. Here's trying to start again. Okay, it's getting hot. It's actually unbearable. So, let's see if we can adjust it. It's staying warm. I think it's going to work. It may. For the price of the whole setup, I mean, you get what you pay for. But I've seen multiple videos of these things, and everybody seems to be happy. So I think for the money, even if I have to play with it, I've been having to switch it on and off. I've been playing with this for about 10 minutes. Oh, there it went cold. Fire up. That's not going to be fun trying to take a shower. Yeah. Well, so far, I don't know, people. So I guess once I get it going, I better leave it alone. See, that's too hot. I would not be able to shower into that. Still too hot. Maybe some of y'all have had some experience with this and I'm missing doing something wrong. Ah, that's too hot. The next project is a portable water source for the pump so that I can be 100% off the grid. It'll be a, a 12 volt pump I've already bought from Harbor Freight. And I'm gonna try to, uh... sorry if that was too loud, that may have been. Hope y'all could hear me. Next project, portable water source, 12 volt pump from Harbor Freight, I've already bought the pump. Um, and then some sort of system to solar charge that battery. But. I think playing with this will get it. See, it just went cold on me. What am I missing? That's cold. I don't want scalding hot or cold. Turn it off. Turn it back on. You hear it whoosh. There's trying to start again. It's lukewarm. Now it's getting unbearably hot. What am I missing, folks? What am I doing wrong? Let's turn the minimum. Go to the minimum. Let's do minimum on all, on all of it. Excuse my stuttering. Man, that's too hot. There we go. <laughs> guess I'm going to have to play with it all year until hunting season rolls around so that I'm not wondering how to make the adjustments on site. I think I'm starting to get it. Of course, like I said, this is, this is the first time to start this. Yeah, to,
seeing the maiden voyage there. It's going cold. We're trying to figure out. Find a happy spot. I'll put marks on it. Now we did buy this from a garage sale, the propane tank, so there may be something fouled up with it because it already had gas in it. And the red indicator light is on, so. I haven't been paying attention to that. Maybe I'll review the video and I might be able to see it from there, but I can handle that. That's a comfortable shower right there. Like I said, I might put in some marks as to where I need to set it. It just went cold. Why is it doing that? Time to read the book. See what I'm missing. Maybe I'll can point out something I'm doing wrong. But we sure don't want a scalding hot shower. We... It's too hot. What are you doing, girl? Light's still on. I turned it down. It's getting cooler, not cold. Oh well, I think I'll be happy with it. We'll work out the bugs. Maybe y'all can tell me something I'm missing and I'll read the book. So, go from there. Happy camping, happy hunting. There it is. I'll try to make a video of the portable water source tank with a pump and a battery and a way to charge that which I know zero about so go from there